This groove is called Shoe on the Other Foot Groove in C. And it's basically, once again, ninth chords, and I'm using this groove relies so heavily on the right hand. It's all about, it's almost like a sort of a Bo Diddley style thing going on with the right hand. That's what's going on with the right hand. And then I'm playing simple nine chords. But there's that little line in there once again. And I'm singling out certain notes once again. I'm playing all of the notes with my right hand, but singling out certain notes with my left hand. So sometimes I'll kind of play with the time too. Sometimes I'll lay it back a little bit more, you know, and really kind of sink in there and kind of make it really sneaky. And once again, I do this little. I love that. I got that from Robin Ford. <laughs> And then that little uh, turnaround, I play that a lot. It just adds movement to whatever I'm playing. It kind of makes it a, gives it a little bit more excitement. And I'll oftentimes only play like two or three notes in a chord, you know. I'm also getting off the strings, you know, I'll play it. That's really just really trying to swing that right hand and really get that. Because I mean, if you get that right hand and swing it really good, you can kind of play whatever you want with your left hand, really, because basically I'm playing really simple chords, but the right hand is what's really giving it that kind of swing and that funkiness. Once again, another thing you can do is just try and single out notes. Strum every note with your right hand, but single out certain notes with your left. I mean, you'll find this kind of thing in a lot of meters, you know, Neo, Neo, Leo Nocentelli, he plays this a lot, you know, sort of.
let's recap on this. This is basically what's going on here with the right hand and the left hand, and that's the chords, nine chords, simple chords, with a little movement and pick up things with the single notes. All right, let's recap. 